Hey guys, make sure to stand till the end. If you make one common mistake, it can cost you thousands of dollars in future repairs. Stay with us, we'll explain what it is. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today, today will be super helpful video to any of you having a GMC Sierra that generation here from year 2007 to year 2013. If you have one of those, if you need to find where the moonroof fuse is located, which fuse you need to check, where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time. But it's important guys to always test fuses and relays, all that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience, make sure to stay until the end. So before we start guys, let us tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart. We show you how to do engines, transmission, mechanical, bodywork, a little bit of everything guys. We have more than 13,000 free repair videos on our channels that can save you thousands of dollars guys in future repairs. We have anything from American to German vehicles, Asian, uh, anything guys. So now uh, if you need to find, let's say you're in the middle of nowhere, you need to find a video for a starter fuse or uh, you need to see where the starter relay is located all we have to do is just come find that on our channel it will take you about a minute or two to watch it you fix it you're back on the road guys so that's why we're making all these videos for your convenience so let's go ahead and start on it now so the moonroof fuse where you can expect to find it guys we'll demonstrate on that generation GMC Sierra right here you guys have multiple fuse boxes in that GMC Sierra, but today for the moonroof we need to work in a fuse box that's under the hood. So, if you open the hood guys, here next to the brake pump on the driver's side you have that electrical box, open that cover and underneath you will find guys the main engine fuse box with a layout that will look like this one right here. Now before we continue let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. It is guys very important to test fuses and relays. On those fuses you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not, especially you can see in the JK's fuses as well. And if you guys assume, okay, you, let's say you remove a fuse, you look at it and you assume guys that it's a, actually a, a good fuse, but it's actually a bad fuse, sometimes you cannot clearly see that. What can easily happen guys at that point, uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to, so you will lose your time, you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it. We'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses, how to check relays very easily as well guys. So uh, check it out, it will be in the description of the video below. So guys, here for the moonroof, which fuse we need to check? By the way, if you need to buy any fuses, relays, parts, tools for GMC Sierra or any car at a good price, quick shipping, we will put the links in the description of the video below. Check it out. You can get parts and tools at a really good price and quick shipping as well. So if we come in that forward section here, guys, okay, with the fuse that we're looking for, the moonroof, it's a 30 amp fuse and we're talking about fuse number 34. We're talking about this 10 amp fuse right here. If you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to let us know. Thank you for watching. See you next time.